Welcome to this video about Venn diagrams and this question was asked by one of you on my website explainingmaths.com and I just want to tell you before I start that you could do the same thing and eh? you can go to my website explainingmaths.com and ask me your questions and um, I'm sure I'll find time to help you, eh? not a problem at all. Okay, what's going on here? A badminton club has 31 players. Okay, 28 play singles, 16 play doubles. And we have to represent this information in a Venn diagram and we have to find out how many players play both, yeah, so singles and doubles. Now, I'm just going to highlight some important information. In total, we have 31 players and we have 28 who play singles and 16 who play doubles. All right. Now, when I'm sketching my Venn diagram, I don't really need to use a ruler or anything. Yeah, but just it's a sketch, yeah, it's a rectangle. And that's the universal set. Okay, and we sketch two circles in it. And again, you don't have to use a compass or anything like that. It's just um, as long as it's clear what you're doing. All right, I'm going to call this circle S for singles and that circle D for doubles. And uh, okay, I'm going to look again at the question what is going on? We have 31 players in total. And we can assume that everybody plays either singles or doubles or both. All right, because why would you become a member of a badminton club and you don't play badminton? Yeah, so there are no numbers or no players who don't belong to either singles or doubles. Yeah, everybody belongs in either one of these circles and some of them in both. All right, now I'm just going to write down those numbers already. 28 play singles and I write it knowing that I'm going to change it in a minute. Yeah, but I'm just going to write it down anyway. 28 and 16 play doubles. Yeah, and again, I write the 16 down, but I know I'm going to change it in a minute. Because how many players did I write down now? 28 and 16. So 28 plus 16, that's uh, uh, 38, that is 44 players. Okay, so I have 44 players, but I only have 31 players in the entire club, okay? So that is too much, or these are too many players. And how many players are they too many? Well, if I take away the 31, so I have 13 players too many, okay? And that is then the amount that you have counted double. So 13 players, I have counted double. And why did I count them double? Because they belong in that middle part. So let me do that in red. 13 players play both. So I'm going to put a 13 in the middle and then I'm going to change the 28 into 15 because I subtract the 13 from the 28. And I'm going to change the 16 into 3 because I subtract the 13 from 16. And as you can see now, 15 plus 13 is 28 plus 3 are your 31 players. Yeah, because again, I counted those 13 players double because they play both singles and doubles, all right? So when I write down these numbers, I write them down knowing that I'll change them in a minute, yeah? So the 28 and the 16, I look together, that makes 44, but I only have 31 players, so that is 13 players too many. So those 13 players I count as doubles. So if I put them in the middle and subtract them on both sides, 15, 16 minus 13 is three, then in total I have my 31 players. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Yeah, Venn diagrams, uh, like and share this if it was, guys. And go to my website, explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all my resources, everything you need to know to pass your IGCSE and GCSE maths exam. And you can ask me your questions there too. All right, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.